Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about topic 2.7, presidential communication. In this lesson, you're going to be learning about how presidential communication has changed and adapted through the use of technology. Presidents are constitutionally required to give a State of the Union every year, and they have always been made available to the public. In fact, George Washington had his first State of the Union published in the newspapers. Presidential communication continued to change, and debates became very popular during Lincoln's campaign against Stephen Douglas. They were really popular, popular because th this was a direct channel to the public. There wasn't a newspaper in between the, uh, a newspaper writer in between the candidate or the president and the public. And Lincoln was actually the first president to have a telegraph installed in the White House. President McKinley was the first president to be uh, filmed using a moving picture, and he actually used a moving picture as a campaign commercial. Teddy Roosevelt became known for using short, recognizable phrases that political cartoonists and new newspapers would jump all over. Uh, he had phrases like, walk softly and carry, big, uh, carry a big stick, or molly coddling. Uh, these phrases predate things like uh, the yes we can or make America great again. But Teddy Roosevelt was really good at, at creating these phrases. One phrase that he coined um, has stuck to the presidency and it's called the bully pulpit. The term bully back in the time meant good or good job or as in like bully for you. Um, it was not a, a, a negative term. But the term bully pulpit now refers to a president using their position to appeal directly to the public and pressuring the other two branches to do what they want. Franklin Delano Roosevelt used radio to um, gain access directly into the public's living rooms. He would use what he called his fireside chats and regularly spoke over the radio directly to the citizens of the United States. Kennedy became the first president to effectively leverage TV to win the presidency. He used commercials, debates, and rallies in order to show people directly in their living rooms exactly what he was all about. We have gradually moved to a position where the president is able to reach more people instantly with less barriers between himself and the people. Clinton was the first president to send an email from the White House, and Obama was the first president to have a Twitter account. Now, President Trump is able to send tweets, sometimes hundreds a day, directly to the public. So, in this lesson, you should have learned how presidential communication has changed and adapted through the use of technology. If there's anything you missed, please go back now and rewatch the portion of the video you need to. Then go ahead and in your notes, answer the summarizing question so that you can get your notes stamped the next time we're in class. All right, guys, that's all for now. Bye.